Rolled up in a mop. Said they all Get over here. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Hello guys and welcome to the first Between the Episodes video in the Complete Beginner series and today we will be taking a look at the best fighting techniques for beginners or in other words uh, how to fight better in Faction Wars, Challenge, Battle Mode, etc. Um, this will of course help you gain better rewards and overly uh, perform better in the game. So without further ado, uh, let me tell you which are the three most important things in MK Mobile you need to pay attention to in order to be successful in battles. Uh, the first thing, of course, is offense and uh, attacking and special attack use, very important. So the first thing you need to know when it comes to offense is that you have to make sure that your special attacks don't get blocked. Because if they get blocked, they're going to deal, let's say, 10 or 20% of the original damage they're supposed to. And of course, you're going to lose your bar of power. So in order to make sure that you don't um, have your special attacks blocked, I would advise you uh, to do them after or during basic attack combos. Because most of the time, if you successfully start a basic attack combo or finish it, and immediately after it finishes, you release a special attack, 90% of the cases your special attacks won't get blocked. And the next very important thing when it comes to attacking and offense is to that you have to always try to finish off your opponents before they tag out. This is really important because even if they uh, live even with one HP, they can be extremely dangerous later in the game. So you have to make sure that you finish them off before they tag out. The next thing uh, is uh, to identify the type of AI that you are fighting. Um, it's not really official, it is purely based on my observations. And during the years I played NK Mobile, I identified two general groups of uh, AI. Because, you know, in Faction Wars you're not fighting real people, you're fighting bots that control real people's teams. So the first type of AI is the special one spammer. Uh, most of the cases you're going to be fighting against such type of AI. Every time when uh, the AI has one bar of power, he's going to use it and try to hurt you with special one. And the second type of um, AI is the special two spammer. This is type of AI that relies on building power until it uh, builds up to special 2 or even x-ray and um, he almost never uses special 1. It is very easily recognizable when you're fighting a character and this character always has let's say one bar and half full so he can always perform special 1 but he doesn't even for let's say 15 or 20 seconds he just tried to punch with basic attacks so that he gains power. And the third group, the third thing you need to know uh, about battles in Mortal Kombat Mobile is blocking. Blocking is really important uh, so that you can negate almost all the damage coming from special attacks from the opponent. The three things you need to know about blocking is that you have to block always when the opponent tags in and the opponent tagging in has ready bar of power or even two bars of power. Because in 80% of the cases, he's going to use his special attack straight away. Another thing you need to know is that if this opponent tags in with Bar of Power and start doing basic attacks on you, you shouldn't release the block immediately after the basic attack is finished, because in another 80% of the cases, after uh, the bot uses his basic attack combination on you, he's going to be using the special attack on you immediately after. So you shouldn't release your block. I'm going to show this to you in details later in the video. The next thing you have to know is that you have to block always after you dealt a lot of damage to the opponent. Let's say you take 50 or 60% of their HP bar, and if he has a bar of power, he's going to use a special attack immediately after that. Again, 80 to 90% chance. And of course, the last thing, which is very logical, uh, if the opponent is very low on HP and he has special attack, again, 80 to 90% chance he's going to use it. I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. Okay guys, here we are fighting a silver team, we are fighting Johnny Cage, Konjin and Kano. And in this team my um, strongest uh, character is Konjin. So I'm trying to keep him alive and in this situation I'm trying to finish off Johnny Cage. But as you can see I am not able to, which will result in Johnny Cage power draining me. 
and tagging out. And now we have another Kunjin. I'm going to try to finish him off. And now you can see that I'm going to deal a lot of damage to him. And immediately after I do that, you can see that he's going to use his combo attacks and special attack. But I know it's coming, so I'm blocking. And now you can see that after he's dead, Kano comes. And you see not what Kano is doing. Kano has one bar of power. But he's not going to use it immediately. He's going to use his basic attacks on me. But I know what's coming. I'm blocking and I'm not releasing block because I know that his special one is coming. So I neglect almost all of his damage and I can finish him off easily now. Unfortunately, my Kunjin is going to die in this battle because um, until now I never actually tag him out. But uh, he's going to take revenge on Johnny Cage before that. And you can see my, the Kano is going to finish my Kunjin, but then my Scorpion will intervene and finish off the battle. So there you go, uh, in the first battle you clearly saw how easy it is to identify when to block. And here we'll be focusing on our next battle, which is against a relatively weak team. You can see now how I make a mistake and my special one gets blocked, but anyhow I am able to finish this Devora because she's weak. But now we have a strong Scorpion and what we're going to do is restart our basic combination you can see now very clearly and immediately after we are done with the final hit of the combination we do our special one and now as we dealt this huge damage to scorpion he's going to retaliate and he's going to use his special one but we already know that and we're going to block it so that in the end he doesn't do almost any damage to us and we're going to finish the scorpion now his bronze character is coming and we know that his special one is coming as well so we're going to block it then do some basic attack combination plus special attack and just like this this battle is over and now we are facing uh, kunjin silver sonia and grandmaster sub-zero by the way grandmaster sub-zero is a really good character so what we have to do first is take care of uh, kunjin again basic attack and then special attacks one so he's dead now we are fighting Sonia and of course we have to take care of her as well so what we have to do we have to do again the same thing successful combination to a special attack and now we know that Sonia is wounded we know that we dealt a lot of damage to her and we also know that she has special one and therefore we know that she's going to use it so we block it and you can see we are neglecting almost all of the damage Unfortunately, she will escape and Sub-Zero will come, but Sub-Zero is going to die as well. And after this damage, he's going to use his special one again, because we dealt massive damage to his health bar and he has one bar of power. But we know that we have to block it and finish him off. He will come back, but it won't matter because he's going to die. And Sonia will come back, we are going to block her attempt to use special one on us because she's very wounded and she has one bar of power so there's nothing else she can do we are blocking it and using our special one and this team is defeated okay guys so this will be it for the video stay tuned for the next between the episodes video coming this week where we'll be discussing strategies for building best teams and how to fuse characters faster once again, if you like what I'm doing, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.